This is a quick reminder of how to shade trees. So a tree trunk is a cylinder. So you're gonna shade it the same way you shaded cylinders last year, which is by creating a gradient. You're going from dark to medium to light. You can use a couple different shades of brown if you want to, or you can just stick with one. Um, and again, if your trees are fantastical, maybe they're not brown at all, but they're still gonna be cylindrical. So in order to create the cylindrical effect of the tree, you're gonna shade from dark to medium to light. So I'm gonna apply a lot of pressure a medium amount of pressure, and a light amount of pressure. And I'm gonna do that all the way down the tree. Now this is a time where maybe you wanna do larger strokes so that it's um, a little easier to make it consistent. And that's okay too, you just wanna make sure that you're being um, neat by using the side of your pencil crayon and not the tip of your pencil crayon. Okay, and it depends on which um, direction the sun is coming from, whether you would shade the left side of the tree darker or the right side of the tree darker. Um, so it's really up to you which direction the sun is coming from, but you're gonna wanna keep all of your trees consistent. So if you've got another tree next to this tree, it is also going to be shaded with the dark side of the tree on the left and the medium side of the tree and then the light side of the tree. So again, it's gonna be dark medium light. You're not going to go in a different direction because the sun wouldn't move um, from one tree to the next. So that's how I do the basic part of the trunk. And then you can also add in some other different values of brown. You should add in some other different values of brown to make it look more realistic. The brown I used was a very red brown. Um, so I might go and try and find another kind of brown that I could bring into that to make it look a little more brown and a little less red so not as warm and then to do the bushy part of the tree you have lots of different options and of course this is only one type of tree but depending on what type of tree you're drawing your um, this part of the tree might look a little different but what I like to do in order to create texture for that part of the tree is I like to do swirling so I'll just go around with my tree and I'll do swirling in one color of green and then I'll start bringing in some of the other values of green in order to fill in some of these white spaces because we really don't want to see too much white space. We can see some because um, there are leaves and some of the leaves are not covering what's happening behind those leaves, but you don't want to see too much. So you want to use a couple different values. And then you can either leave the rest of it white, the parts that are shining through that are white, or you could go ahead and do the same thing that we do with the grass, which is just simply use the side of your pencil crayon and very lightly go over all of it, which will cover up those white areas with a very, very light coating of green. Now again, this is just one way to do a tree. So if you're shading, if you're drawing a different kind of tree, maybe like a pine tree, you might shade it a little bit differently too. And that's fine. You can experiment on your own in your sketchbook to see what kind of shading you think would look best for your tree. Okay, but that's the basics of how to shade a tree.